welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about the book Tiger's Curse by Colleen Houck. Now in my August TBR video so many people told me to review this book. They said they really liked it and they wanted to see my thoughts on it. Same with my Friday Reads video. So that's why I decided to do a review on this book today. Now first a basic summary of this book. There is this girl named Kelsey and she's a high school student and over the summer she gets a job at the zoo. While at the zoo she gets put in charge of the tiger cages and she meets a giant white tiger named Wren and she starts to spend all of her time with Wren and then she has to go sort of on this mission to India. So I really, really like this book overall. I gave it four and a half out of five stars. It was so good. It was really what I needed because it was a lot of action, but there was still is romance was still a big part of the plot, and I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it. So that's it for the non-spoiler section. Go read, and then we can come back and discuss. Okay. So the one part of this book that I didn't like was the freaking love triangle. I thought in the beginning, oh, it's just going to be Kelsey and Ren, and no, Ren's brother Keyshawn shows up. Mm, I hate how now in YA almost every book has a love triangle. Now, I've read spoilers online, so I know what's going to happen like at the end. And I have my favorite brother. I'm personally a fan of Bren. But when Keyshawn showed up, I was not a fan. Not happy. And then at the end, the ending was so cute. Then Keyshawn shows up again. Like, are you serious? Comment down below what you thought of Keyshawn because I did not like him. He's obviously just trying to steal his brother's girl again like he did 350 years ago. The first part of this book was kind of weird because Kelsey falls in love with Ren while he's a tiger and she doesn't know that he's a human. I just thought it was so weird how at the zoo she spent all of her time with the tiger because, like, that, that's just weird. Like, why? I don't know why she did that. And then she just wants, she's like, what kind of parent would let their kid go to India for, like, a job? I just, I don't understand. But once we finally got to India, the book really picked up and when we found out that Ren was like a human I thought that was good and I, I kind of saw it coming but I thought it was something unique I haven't really read a lot of books like that before, so I thought it was a good touch the other thing that was kind of confusing about this book was there was a lot of different like Indian and like Hindi and Buddhist concepts brought up now I'm Catholic so I do not know that much about like this kind of thing so it was interesting to learn a bit more about like the different religions and the different like concepts and mythologies i thought that was also a really good touch to the book now my favorite thing about this book was definitely kelsey and ren's relationship they had a very complex relationship and it took them forever to finally get together but once they did and then i really liked towards the end when they start arguing because it was so cute except i hated that kelsey thought that she couldn't be with him there's always like that heroine and she's just like oh no I can't be with you it's like yes you can just screw your head on right and you can realize you can be with him you can save like these three books of anguish and just be with him already like the ending she just she even though she admits she loves him which f finally and then she just runs off like are, are you kidding me it's Ugh, it annoyed me. I am really excited to read the next book, though. I think it's called Tiger's Quest. I have it on reserve at the library right now. So if you guys want to see me do a review of that, just comment down below, and I will try and do that for you guys. So I know right now I think there's four books in the series, but I think she's writing a fifth book. I think I saw that on Goodreads, but I'm not sure about that. I don't know what's going to happen in the second book. I think they're probably, like, since there's four books, I think in each book they're going to get six more hours to the curse. And I know in the next book, she Kelsey hangs out with, like, Keyshawn, which I'm not happy about, because then the love triangle is going to grow even worse. It's going to be annoying. I just hate love triangles. There's only a few love triangles that I can actually, like, stand. Okay, so overall, I would recommend this book, 4 out of 5 stars. Let me know down below what you guys thought of it, and if I should continue to read the rest of the series. I think I will. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again soon.